Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial from Comet and this time we are going to create a rage system and it is going to be a little bit uh, hard for me to explain for everyone uh, because you got multiple rage systems uh, for example in Crash Auto you got a rage system that will uh, will get their time back uh, every second but in other games there's just like with a special action you will get your uh, rage back your rage time back and you know it's there are multiple ways and I will try in this tutorial to explain as many as possible so uh, but it means that it's going to be a little bit basic um, so and it's also because I can't really explain how you guys want it and I want for everyone that it uh, that you can integrate it in your project uh, so that's why I can't be too specific but I think it's good enough for people to to learn from it so uh, let's create a new uh, c -sharp script and call it rage system and the rage system um, oh I've got one letter um, so and the rage system is going to let me also change it here so and we are going to use uh, from the Unity standards ads, assets, the image effect. And for that, I have to uh, explain a little bit. Um, instance effects and an image. Oh, I think it didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't import it. So let me just come back to you guys when I imported it. And then I can directly explain how uh, for some image effects, there are some uh, problems and you can solve that very easily but I also have to explain that so I will just came back to you in a minute and I will explain that all right guys so I just imported all the uh, unity standard assets and to use the image effect you have to put this line before the actual script um, for this tutorial we are going to use um, the vignette and chromatic aberration effect um, but for example you want to use the fish fish e and it's one of the few scripts that has uh, a little bit of a mistake inside it so normally you will just uh, you want to use the, this script so you can just put but fish e it doesn't recognize it and that's because it isn't public so we have to change that at least if you want to use it and you can just quickly see it uh, quickly open the the script itself it can also i only know it from fishy but it can also be with maybe some other scripts but you have just add here public oh and save it uh, keep line endings and now you can just also use the fishy so now i explain that we are going to use the vignette and uh and all the other things <laughs> and we're going to call it effect here we are going to also create a public float rage xp so, and also uh, a public bool is rage um, we don't use start for the script so we can just remove that but uh, in update we are going to uh, put some things but first we have to create a public void check for rage uh, by the way if you create anything don't put anything inside the update or uh, not actual script uh, because it will be a little bit slower than if you actually uh, put it in a void and call it void from an update. It's just a simple uh, way to optimize the script. Um, so here we are going to check um, if this raging and and so on but first we're just going to create all the voids or all the functions because otherwise it will be a little bit hard to explain so a public void get rich xp and this um, function will check if you are uh, oh get this function will make that you can uh, add towards the the time of the rage uh, you can just add something towards it so for example if uh, if you attack uh, or if you kill somebody you get as a reward uh, 
10 seconds that you can reach so you will just get here 10 seconds uh, and I'm calling it XP just because I liked it <laughs> um, so from the reach XP we're just going to add it towards the XP and we're going to do uh, two simple um, simple calculations if this is less than zero uh, that's just impossible so we want to make it zero again and uh, if it's more than 100, for example, I'm going for 100 because it's easy uh, to calculate with it. But you can also yeah, take another number, but that's the maximum of the uh, of your reach XP or whatever you want to call it. Then you will reset it to 100. So that's everything to get reach XP. So for uh, for example, if you've got a uh, a current of the out okay you will uh, in uh, every uh, uh, every second you will add uh, for example um, oh whoops let me just put it here and not inside those brackets um, you want to uh, add here for example uh, five whatever um, then you are going to add here a public void reaching uh, and that is the function that will uh, add all the effects towards it we'll make sure that you can't reach forever and so on so the very first thing you will uh, enable the script um, or scripts if you have multiple uh, and here we also want that uh, you will remove from the reach xp um, well, some some points just to make sure that uh, that you won't go on raging forever and that you have to get it back again. Uh, also, here we are going to copy this one just to make sure that uh, you can't get less than zero. And also, I multiplied by eight because otherwise, if you can rage for uh, one hundred seconds, it's just taking. Uh, you can just for my feeling i think it's way too long but just make it suitable for your own game um, now we're going to make the public void check for raging and the very first thing it's going to do it will check if you're raging and if you are it will call that function here we are going to uh, to put the key there that you will start with raging or uh, or if you want to uh, stop with raging. You know, that's uh, how to toggle between raging and not raging. And um, this is a simple trick. If you want a bull, every time you press one key and you want to make the bull uh, is negative uh, from it. So for example, if this is true, you will set it to false. And if it's false, you, will, uh, you want to set it to true. You can just do is raging is the same as the negative of is raging and that's just how you do it <laughs> and if you aren't raging you will just set the effect uh, you will just disable the effect and if you want to do any more you can also create a new function which uh, which you are going to call stop raging and we we'll just put every effect inside there but i only have one so i don't need and a whole new function for it um, also uh, we are going to make sure that you can't if you got uh, zero that you will stop with raging so that you can't go on raging forever so if you're raging and um, I will just zoom in so we can see what uh, kind of uh, symbols those are you can just put here and that's oh that means uh, exactly the same but i like those symbols more um, and if the rage xp is a less than one and i don't put there zero because um, if this less than zero it will automatically be zero and we'll just get some glitches and people will just uh, you can hack it very easily so just to make sure that that doesn't happen uh, you will set its raging to false um, we got actually now the whole script, but now we just need to do some uh, some thing, simple things. 
Um, the very first thing is add here oh yeah, the script, um, rage system, and the image effect, and that was uh, this one. And just oh, and just assign it. And uh, let me see. Oh yeah, you can see it currently because the uh, the camera isn't seeing anything. Um, so let me just quickly put something in front of the camera so we can actually see the uh, effect. So let me just uh, get a motor. Let me see. Let me just put somewhere around here. And I just want to make sure that you guys can see that it's what exactly is happening around here. Um, all right, so this is visible enough for me. Um, so for example, I'll just put it way too high, uh, but for example, this is how it will look like. Uh, you will just put, I will just start it right now. And because I, uh, I will get every uh, second, Ten, yeah, it's way too high. By the way, uh, it just gets me uh, this. It will just get me uh, one hundred. And if I press Q, you will slowly uh, getting less. Um, you see that there is a problem with this system, um, and we're going to fix this right now because every frame it's adding ten, but you won't get, uh, you won't remove that much. So that's why. Uh, you have to do one last thing, and that's just only for if you are uh, uh, if you are using the Grand Theft Auto system, where it will call every frame. So if you uh, if you aren't raging, only then you will get like the rage XP. Otherwise, you won't get it. And also, if you are um, um, if you're just using like uh, every time you kill somebody you will get a rage uh, it will also be uh, you will also get uh, you don't need to uh, implant that because it's just uh, if you still killed in rage mode I think you still uh, should get something um, so as you can see now it is raging now it is uh, getting less, less XP and if you do hit zero it will just end uh, end <laughs> um, and it isn't turning this off it isn't disabling this so that's probably a mistake I've made here maybe I've got to add something um, all right uh, I've got that also here I want to disable the effect and uh, if you've got that function already that you made around here you can just put it here but for me I will just put it here um, and also before I forget it you won't uh, you won't you won't see it uh, every time uh, or at the start so you just want to uh, turn this off but now, if you press Q, we'll get it. Um, and if it will hit zero, everything will stop. Um, and yes, it's working. So everything is fine, I think. Um, so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. Uh, that would really help the channel out. And also, if you've got any questions about the system, please ask in the comment section. And uh, if you want me to create like uh, a bit more in-depth tutorial about this topic, just ask in the comment section. I will try to make one. I can promise it. And uh, well, I see you guys soon.